How you doing? Ted Greenfield, over 50 and continuously learning how to fly. I got the new Garmin 355. Yes, I got the new Garmin GPS 355 Navigator and we are gonna check it out today. We're gonna shoot a couple of approaches. We're gonna go explore a little bit around Florida and we're gonna see what this new Garmin is like. We're gonna see that it is an exceptional value and I strongly recommend it for all you GA pilots out there who are looking to upgrade your aircraft. So come with me as we see what this thing can do. So the first thing that I noticed about the 355 is its operation is almost identical to the GTN 650, which I had some experience before, so the transition was really pretty much seamless. I downloaded a trainer app from Garmin that went right on my iPad, and I played around with it for about three weeks before I actually got the unit. This is how I have my airplane set up. So if you look, I have two G5s, and I have my iPad, and the Garmin is right on top of my stack, just underneath my audio panel. So we flew from Tampa North to Zephyr Hills, which is about a, maybe a six minute flight, but we took off VFR, and since they're so close together, we just did the RNAV 19 approach into Zephyr Hills, but we didn't get an IFR clearance. We just shot it as a VFR aircraft. Loading and activating the approach in the Garmin is really easy. All right, so let's go back here. Procedure, approach, approach, runway 19, LPV, activate approach. There we go, map, direct, Volvo, activate. So I left the entire approach on here, and I do have to apologize for the cameras. They're really not set up to do close shots of the G5 or the GPS, so it may look a little fuzzy, but you can figure it out, and I do identify the localizers. Take a right turn to 096, and we're going to intercept XROV. When we intercept XROV, uh, we will take course 186 into runway 19. At XROV, we, won't, we should be at 2,000 feet, but we're going to go, we're going to stay at 1,500. Um, actually, let's see if we can go up to, no, we're going to stay at 1,500. When we get up to Wolvu, which is the final approach fix, that we should be at 1,700. So we'll intercept the glide path around there. Okay. And we'll just kind of do this. Maybe, uh, maybe I can squeeze up to 1,700. See what yeah. you can get here, yeah. yeah. Zephyr Hills traffic, Cardinal 2214 Yankee is 10 miles to the uh, northwest. We will be inbound for runway 19 on the RNAV 19 approach to Zephyr Hills. 186, we're going to do this. 186. And 4, 3, 2, do a lead in now. The G355 is fantastic because when you come up to a waypoint, it tells you when to turn and it counts you down. And we can slowly start descending to 1700. So that lead-in was a little early, so that GPS is kind of bang on. Bang on. All right. And I am on instruments here. All right, we got a lot of wind, so I'm not going to... Go about 168 on that heading. 168? Yeah, just try that. See what that does. Don't let that wind throw you. Yeah, because it is. It, there it comes, yeah. All right. Yeah, hold that. And for my a second. desired track, yeah, there we go. Go back to 168 on your heading. Yep. Trust, trust your instrument. 
more you can fine tune that. The yeah, no, this is, well, we got a heavy wind here, so that you're, right. you're right. Right, go right, with so that. So we're going down to 860. And 340 is our decision height. So 1600 for 860. Look at, there yeah, we go, perfect. look at that, look right at on. You. you are the master uh, of this airplane. <laughs> I think I'm just the owner. I think you <laughs> I'll take it. Okay, 1500 for 860. And 168 is that magic number. Look at that. You're right. And I'm just solely on the instruments right now, not looking out the window until 1400 for 860. They're bang on. I'm lined up there. That's that's really good crosswind practice right yeah. there. Yeah. I'll come a little bit over. And just to let you know, my friend Brian here is a flight instructor and a very good one at that, and he has some great ideas. So, what he does here is not that unorthodox. Let the wind blow you back. Yeah, that's right. You're right. You're right. Okay, there we go. Now it's changing, so we just three mile final. Zephyr Hill traffic, Cardinal 221 Frankie on the RNAV uh, 19 approach, three mile final, Zephyr Hill. All right, 1100 for 860. All right, I'll let that one blow me back. 101. All right, lights on, flaps are down. We got a lot of flaps, so we're not, we got a lot of wind, so we're not gonna go with any more flaps than that. Let's try this. This'll help to not distract you. Yeah. Now, this approach was a little bit tricky for two reasons. Number one, it was one of the first approaches that I shot with my Garmin. And then number two, the winds were really squirrely. They were dead crosswinds at about 11 gusting to about 16, 17 knots. 350. By your needle, yep. Good, looking good. 800 for 340. Everything's looking good. Your needle looking good. Five eighty for three forty. One mile from the runway. Five hundred for three forty. You're dead on. Five hundred for three forty. Four hundred for three forty. And you popped out of the clouds. And we are going to continue. We have the runway environment in sight. Glasses up. Ah, good one. I'm looking at it, I'm like, why does it look so strange? Got a little bit of a left, left crosswind. Yeah. Pretty much direct. Looking good. Got it. Nice. Alrighty. So I took that little bit of a visual distraction away from you. Yeah. You, you straightened right out. It yeah, was, isn't that funny? That's funny. It took it all away from you, so. So I hope this was useful for you, and I hope this gives you a good idea of what the setup could be between two G5s and the Garmin 355. I will make some more videos of approaches that I will be shooting in the upcoming days, and hit like, hit subscribe, let me know what you think, and thanks for watching. <laughs>